Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Blue and welcome back to another video. With Shadowlands just around the corner, I wanted to talk to my fellow hunters about a way that they can elevate their gameplay. And what I'm talking about here is macros. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what a macro is, how to get started, how to create one, and the ways in which you can use macros to evolve your playstyle. So if you want to know how to better control your pet, lay traps more efficiently, or interrupt enemies that you're not targeting, then stick around, because I'm about to show you how. Let's get right into it. So what is a macro? Macros are basically a way for you to write a line of the game, right? It's got very, very strict rules because you have to write in the same exact language as the original coding. Uh, but the base concept of a macro is to be able to perform more than one action at a time. So to get started, you're gonna hit escape and click on the macros button on the game menu. And that's gonna bring up this screen right here. So you'll notice up top, you can basically do two options, general macros or character specific macros. Uh, whatever you wanna do, I would recommend doing general macros if you have more than one hunter, that way they're gonna be transferable. Uh, but whatever you wanna do, so you're just gonna click on new, right? And that's gonna pop this menu up right here. So you need a name and an icon for your macro. You can choose literally from every single icon that the game has to offer. But if your intent is to modify an existing ability that you have, I recommend using the same icon as the abilities icon. Now, when you name your macro, it's gonna write the name in front of the icon on your hotbar. So if you don't want any text in front of the icon, uh, you can just press space save. You have to have a name for the macro, but a a blank space uh, is good enough for the game apparently. So now that we've gotten down the basics of what a macro is, what a macro can be used for, and how to create one, let's go ahead and get into the macros themselves. So these two macros that I'm gonna put up on the screen are basically uh, for interrupting targets that you're not targeting, right? So the top one is going to interrupt your focus. And guys, if you don't know what a focus is, you literally, you just right click an enemy, click set as focus, and that's gonna allow you to use these macros in order to basically have two targets, right? The one you're targeting and the one you're focusing. So the top macro is basically gonna cast counter shot on your focus. The bottom one is going to cast counter shot on your mouse over, meaning that you don't even have to be targeting or focusing the enemy. Literally, if you just hold your mouse over it and click the button, that's where it's gonna cast the counter shot. It's gonna make you really versatile in interrupting not only in PVP, but PVE content as well, dungeons, raids, arenas as well as battlegrounds so the next one we have is another mouse over macro it's going to be pretty useful it's the kill shot mouse over macro and so basically with how much damage kill shot does you're going to want to be getting off as many kill shots as possible but targeting is not the simplest thing in this game so having a mouse over kill shot macro is going to be amazing for mythic plus for raids um and even in a, actually especially in arenas when you're focusing one target your buddy's focusing another target. If your buddy happens to get that other target down to a low enough health threshold, you're gonna wanna be able to get that kill shot off immediately. So using this macro is gonna be super helpful. All you gotta do is hover your mouse over the target that you wanna cast kill shot on, and then click the button, and that's where your kill shot's gonna go. So here I'm gonna put up a couple misdirection macros. All right, the first one is going to basically be a focus and mouse over macro combined so basically this is going to cast misdirection on whatever target you're mousing over if you're not mousing over a valid target it will immediately choose to cast misdirection on your focus so you can make your tank your focus when you're going into a mythic plus or, or a raid super helpful i'm going to put another one up on the screen as well that's basically just going to cast misdirection onto your pet now you're not going to want to use this <laughs> in mythic plus or in raids because people are going to be pissed off that you're taking aggro from the tank but if you're doing solo content this is a must-have macro uh, for solo PvE. So next, let's talk about a couple of macros for more effective trap placement. So I'm going to use Freezing Trap as an example, but you can use whatever trap that you want to put. Just delete Freezing Trap and put Tar Trap, Explosive Trap, whatever you want to do. And while I'm on this topic, it's extremely important to get all your capitalizations and all your lowercase letters perfect. See where it says freezing trap, it's going to have to be a capital F and a capital T, otherwise the game will not know what you're talking about, macro will not work. Alright, so there's two variations basically, right? There's at cursor and at player. If you do at cursor, it's going to immediately throw the trap wherever your mouse is. It's going to save you that split second between pressing your freezing trap button and then having to place it. Instead, it's just going to go directly where your mouse already is. It takes a little getting used to. Uh, but it will save you those valuable, valuable split seconds in those arena type situations. At player will place the trap directly under you. 
if an arms warrior is rushing you or or you're running away and somebody's directly behind you you can just use this macro right here it's going to place a, a freezing trap directly at your feet and you're going to be good for a couple seconds now arguably the most important macro in this entire video is going to be your pet attack macros as we know the pet ai just is not uh not very it's not the brightest tool in the shed as they say so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the line slash pet attack into some of your main abilities. Now for BM and for survival, I would say do it with kill command. For BM and marksmanship, I would say also put it on your multi shot. For marksmanship, I would also put it on, um, what's it called, arcane shot. I wouldn't put this pet attack line in any ability that has a damage over time effect. Because uh, in a lot of situations, you're going to want to be focusing on one target, but still spreading your dots. And if you put this pet attack macro on, on your damage over time abilities, basically it's going to result, while you're trying to spread your dots, it's going to result in your pet like running between every single target that you're trying to dot. Which is not only bad for trying to kill that first enemy, but you're also going to lose damage as your pet, you know, runs between targets. So that goes for like Serpent Sting, that goes for Barb Shot, and that goes for whatever damaging overtime abilities you have in your kit so basically this macro is going to allow you or really ensure that you have your pet where you want them instead of off damaging some other random enemy which ends up resulting in you not getting the kill and you not maximizing your damage output right so just as an example for me you know and i'm playing survival right now i have this macro on my kill command i have this macro on my mongoose bite and i have this macro on my harpoon so figure out whatever main abilities that you like to use uh, or main abilities in your rotation and go ahead and throw that slash pet attack line in there uh and i can almost guarantee that you're gonna see an increase in overall damage and damage per second and guys real quick i just want to throw it out there if you are liking the video if you are liking what I'm talking about and what you're seeing, go ahead and leave me a like on this video. It really does help me out on the channel. And I know for a fact that 95% of you guys aren't subscribed. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. You don't got to click the bell if you don't want to, but if you do, you're going to get notified every time I post a video just like this, and that's about once every week. So if you're looking for more content just like this, like, subscribe, bell, end of rant, let's keep going. Next up, a macro for you forgetful hunters, aka me. Icy Veins calls this the oops, I forgot to summon my pet kill command macro. So basically, and I don't know if it's ever happened to you. It's definitely happened to me. Where you go into combat and you're like, shit, I don't have my pet up. What am I supposed to do? You look like a bumbling fool trying to run away and, and summon your pet. Meanwhile, your partner's already in the heat of battle and you're leaving them all on their own. Anyways, so this macro right here, uh, basically all it's going to do is it's going to summon the first pet that you have on you and then cast kill command. That way, if you forget to summon your pet, all you got to do is press kill command and your pet's going to get summoned. Regardless, if you already have a pet up, uh, it's not going to resummon a different pet, so you're going to be good there. And as you can see, it's got the slash pet attack line thrown in there for you. That way you can use this macro not only for the macros that I was previously talking about, keeping your pet on the correct target, but also it's going to summon a pet if you don't have one up or if you accidentally forgot to summon one next is one that's going to be a little bit more uh, a little bit more of a streamlined way to cancel your aspect of the turtle and go immediately into an attack instead of pressing aspect of the turtle again and then attacking as you normally would without a macro you can put this macro up on the screen right here and basically what it's going to do is it's going to cancel your aspect of the turtle and it's going to cast kill command now, I just use Kill Command as an example. You can do Serpent Sting, you can do Cobra Shot, you can do Arcane Shot, you can do whatever you want. Now, if you want to combine some of these macros, for example, what if you want, okay, here's a, here's a good one. What if you want a macro that's going to not only summon your pet if you forgot one, that's not only going to make sure that your pet is going to your current target, but you also want one that's going to automatically cancel aspect of the turtle. You're going to put something like this that I have up on the screen in your macros menu. Now the main thing that you're going to want to know is that the game is going to read these lines one by one from top to bottom so it's important to put them in the right order. And one other important thing to note. For the aspect of the turtle cancel macros, you will have to press the ability button twice. Once to take your turtle down and once to use the ability. If your turtle is not up, you won't have to press it twice, the game will know and your spell will go off as usual. Macros are designed to help, but they don't do all the work for you. What these macros are designed for is to help you to not have to keep track of excess spells and key bindings. Instead of pressing your turtle button to cancel it, then pressing a different button to cast a spell, this conveniently adds the cancellation effect into the spell itself. But yes, you will have to double press it. For this specific macro, and I'm not sure why or how, but the first time you press it, it cancels your turtle and summons the pet at the same time. 
but you will have to press it again to cast kill command. This is the power of macros, guys. And at some point in the game, as you're progressing your skill, you're going to hit a ceiling if you're not using macros. To get past that ceiling, this is what you do. So let's talk about another one though. And this is gonna be for all of our beast mastery hunters out there. This one's basically gonna cast spirit mand on a friendly mouse over target first. If there is none, then it's gonna cast it on your focus target if it's friendly. And if you don't have a friendly focus target, it's just simply gonna cast Spirit Mend on you. This is one that a lot of hunters like to use, uh, but if you want a more simplified version of this macro, and this is the one that I use personally. I know I should use the first one, but the one that I use is, is this one that I have up on the screen. Basically, if you're targeting a friendly, it'll cast Spirit Mend on the friendly. If you're targeting an enemy or nothing, it's gonna cast Spirit Mend on yourself. Any hunter macro masters out there, go ahead and leave down in the comments your favorite macro that you like to use on your hunters for those guys that are still beginning and just getting started with creating and using macros and for those guys that are just getting started be sure before you leave the video to go down and check the comment section because a lot of these guys commenting on my videos really know what they're talking about i appreciate you guys sticking around till the end and until next time i'm blue monkey and i'll see you in the next video peace